This is Charles Jordan. On October 4th, 1976, Barbara Walters joined Harry Reasoner on the ABC Evening News, becoming the first woman to share a co-anchor position on the network news. And now stand by for this, which I recorded on the evening of October 4th, 1976. And now on this Monday, October 4th, 1976, at 6 p.m., stand by for the ABC Evening News with Harry Reasoner and Barbara Walters. Harry Reasoner. Barbara Walters. Bring you the news. Good evening. Our major story tonight is that Agriculture Secretary Earl Butts has paid the price for telling an obscene racial joke on a commercial airline flight. Secretary Butts resigned today. The president accepted with regret, but immediately. Closer to home, I have a new colleague to welcome. Barbara? Thank you, Harry. Well, tonight has finally come for me, and I'm very pleased to be with you, Harry, and with ABC News, and later I'll have a chance to comment on my new duties. We'll tell you tonight about a Supreme Court action which allows the death penalty to go ahead in at least three states. We will hear some unofficial but optimistic word on the Ford strike. We'll have a direct report. And our newsmaker interview tonight by satellite is with the president of Egypt, Anwar Sadat. He will reveal his plan to help end the fighting in Lebanon. Earl Butts resigned today in the aftermath of repeating a 30-year-old joke, racist and obscene, about blacks. Butts is a man with a joke for every ethnic and occupational group. He usually tells the jokes to the group, and they laugh. This one was different. Most of you watching tonight are loyal viewers of Harry's and of ABC News. I hope, too, that some of you are friends from my early morning days at NBC. I've missed you. And there may be others of you tuning in for the first time out of curiosity, drawn by the rather too much attention and overblown publicity given to my new duties and my hourly wage. It is to you that I'd like to take a moment for a personal note. Harry and I are going to bring you the essential information you need to cope with the world today. We're going to do a news program. I hope, too, to give you a closer look at the people who are the shapers of these news events. I find interviews a way to do this, and I will do them in this program when they're relevant. Also, I'd like to pause from time to time as we shower news items on you to say, wait a minute, what does this mean to my life and to yours? Whether it's understanding why every television news program gives the Dow Jones industrial averages and what it means to you, even if you don't own any stock, or trying to understand the difference between the problems of Rhodesia and South Africa whether it's tying the national and international news more closely to its impact on your life or the quality of life that we all hope to enjoy. And if some of the issues that are of particular concern to women have been neglected, I'll try to deal with those. Which reminds me, people have asked if I want to be called an anchor man or anchor woman or anchor person or even as our producer refers to us, anchor human. Well, titles aren't important. What is important is that Harry and I will try to bring you the best darn news program on the air. And we hope, if you've watched tonight out of curiosity, you'll return to watch us tomorrow out of conviction. Mr. Reasoner? Thank you, Barbara. Preceding was Barbara Walters' debut on the ABC Evening News with Harry Reasoner and Barbara Walters, recorded in the vicinity of 6 to 6.05 p.m., Monday, October 4th, 1976.